Hello Invokers, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Art Since Today, I bring you Sketchbox. Sketchbox is a subscription box that I, I am trying for the first time. I've recently wanted to try different subscription boxes and this is my first subscription box from Sketchbox. And as you can see, there is an artist featured on the outside of the box. And I'm sorry for the glare, but this, the, the actual print is kind of shiny, so it kind of picks up weird on the camera. But this is art by Maria Varga. She has an Instagram here, Instagram at RussianBlend.art. So if you're interested, she did a drawing of um, Leopard, I think. And let's open this box and find out what goodies we have inside. I already have an idea. I've already seen a few other artists' videos, but still, this will be a new experience. Trusty knife, and let's cut. Oh, and by the way, this is a premium sketch box. They have a basic and a premium, and the premium is $35 plus $5 shipping. The basic is $25 plus $5 shipping. But, so it's much more, ex well, it's, oh, no, it's much more expensive than Scrawler Box. Scrawler Box is like $25, including shipping. First off, we see a, ske a Sketchbox sticker. I like the design, it's calligraphy. This box is gonna be calligraphy, but I will not be doing calligraphy. I do not like lettering and that sort of thing. So I will be doing uh, it in a different approach. And here is the sketchbox.com, I get sketchbox.com school. They have videos over going over the basic and the premium supplies. And then this is the card they, that includes uh, the description of everything that they included in this box. This is the featured artist calligraphy, um, which is beautiful. I mean, it's like abstract art, I think. You have to like that and i don't even like abstract art but i can appreciate it and the featured artist's name is nikolai shaver that's a man and i believe that they will be they are they hired him to do the school part of the videos for the next few months he has an instagram twitter and a website if you're interested go and Look him up. Email to info at getsketchbox.com. Email your work and you may be featured in their next box. I Maybe I will do that as well. And they don't actually have an official prompt listed like anywhere, just like, you know, the featured artist's um, work. So I don't really believe I have to do calligraphy. And this will be all new territory for me because I do have markers, but I have alcohol-based markers only like Ohu and Elohu. So, and Copics. Oh, I thought they were all the same. They're actually different. This one is the Karen Deco brush. And the deco brush is red gold. One thing I would say, these colors are not spring colors. I think that they didn't really think about it too much, but not very spring vibey feeling. And, but I still like the colors. So this is deco brush red gold. These are marked as markers, 2.4 milliliters of non-toxic metallic paint pigments was a paint marker paint pen and these are the brush markers from the same company 
These are Pro and Blender, Marker Pro and Blender. It says they have alm almond, copper brown, and a neutral gray. So this one maybe is copper brown, almond, oops, almond, copper brown, neutral gray, and I don't know what this one is. It's just an empty one. It's a blender pin, just like we have with markers, alcohol markers, they have colorless blenders, and with the paint markers, they have a blender pin. Probably would be the same for me. I don't use a colorless blender because I feel like I can blend better with the colors themselves instead of a blender. So it's just um, the fluid by itself without any pigment. The nibs are, looks pretty good, but we will be doing, I will be doing swatches to find out how good. Then we have a Japanese pin, a Kuritaki, Kuritaki. Kuritaki Zig Fudi Go Jochi. I'm not sure is the is what is is on the description list. We'll just leave it as Kuritaki. It's an extra fine retail pin. Extra fine, extra fine point. And it works great with calligraphy and lettering or with line work because I had another I had another Japanese pin that I like for line work. This is also a Japanese pin that I got in a Zimpop box. And this is great for calligraphy too or line work. And then something I have also never tried but I've heard good things about. Tombo water-based dual brush pins. Marker brush tip. And a fine bullet tip. Then they have uh, these both are from the same reservoir and they're made in Vietnam. And the colors are called Alice Blue and Bright Blue. And uh, they say they're new additions to the colors. And last but not least, we have more liners. Or, well, we have one black calligraphy liner, but th these are colored Uni Emote 5 pin set. They come in a nice stand here, so you can just stand them up like so, but you can't see it well on the camera. But imagine this is a surface and they're standing, and then you just work with it and then grab one when you need it. Ugh. Kind of sticky there. Uh, it's got a pretty fine tip. Durable, doesn't bend or split. In total, we have 13 items that came in this box and I will put on the screen the retail price of these on Amazon. So we're going to take these things and swatch them out. So let's get started. So first we're going to try our Kuritaki. Kuritaki. I would say this pen is okay. It's a little, it feels a little dry and the ink is not coming out very well. It's almost too light. Could be the watercolor paper too. And it's getting a little bit darker now. Let's try our um, other Japanese pen. This is called Kokoro. This one's a little bit more fluid. The ink comes out better. And I can get varied line weight. I can get varied line weight with this one too, but not as good as this one. I've been spoiled. So you can put the, the lid on the other end, which is a good thing. This is our Tombow's 
this color is actually really nice and I would consider this color spring let's see how this blends with the the this color here it does pick up the paper I figured it would so if you layer this more than once it'll pick up the paper but on that note let's try mixed media paper so I have this Strathmore mixed media paper with vellum surface hmm okay mixed media paper it is for this it doesn't pick the paper up and it blends beautifully on mixed media paper I figured watercolor paper would be better but that's why you should experiment on different types of paper and this is water soluble so we will experiment with some water it does have a beautiful gradient and it it blends out beautifully and the paper is not picking up let's try the kiritake on this paper it looks much better on this paper maybe it's just the Arteza paper or laughs and giggles let's try to add water on the Arteza paper so it does on this paper it does blend out very well with no paper coming up but if you use watercolor paper with these just don't use them directly on top of each other like this example if you blend it with the brush like this it'll work just fine and I would say it looks better on watercolor paper here and then this method looks better on mixed media paper if we just take a glass ceramic palette squeak 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 and then take the brush and then use it just like watercolor the results are lighter let's try again maybe even like taking it with some water and using the brush this method is good it's just a little bit lighter than using it directly onto the paper like this same thing it works really well but the results are lighter and then let's try the like just making the tip a little bit wet I'll make the paper pick up still so no it's nay on a stupid day whatever they say no on watercolor paper in that method and if it after it dries you can go on top of it again and it will be a little bit darker So I think watercolor paper soaks up the ink too fast and you'll waste your your ink just like alcohol markers you would never want to use alcohol markers on watercolor paper and watercolor and mixed media paper is great for markers alcohol markers and this kind of marker pigment marker paint markers so the difference between this one and these is uh, this is metallic and these aren't these are water soluble if you don't wait too long they will paint very well with water very very smooth has beautiful gradients other color we have this is copper brown i believe 
blends in perfectly and the, the paper is not picking up it does blend very well and I've seen other youtubers say that these don't it depends on the paper you have to find the right paper with the right mediums I'm sure this watercolor paper will not have the same blended results but let's see hey, that that line's not going away paper does not have the the a smooth result just like it doesn't have a smooth result like the other paper and the paper is picking up if it even touches each other it needs a vellum surface is what I think maybe even Bristol paper will work so let's look at this blender if I wanted to use it which I think it's not necessary but let's just try it maybe if something got too dark you can use it to lighten it up just like with colorless blenders for markers I'm really happy with these I will be using these often I think maybe even buying more non autumny colors I like fall and I, I I I like that you know just not all the time but this could be used for a lot of things these colors oh I didn't even use this color this color is that gray a gray let's just take it put it in some areas well, this one is not blending very well but those three colors these blended very good maybe it's because they're similar shades but the gray is not blending but the paper is handling it very well let's take our blender see if that will help I do it too much the papers will lightly come up and the blender doesn't really make it blend anymore but let's not give up let's take our light almond color okay so it does blend I think that all the colors need to remain wet to blend because this one already dried and that's why it wasn't blending very well but the gray doesn't blend as well as the others maybe it's because it's a darker color but it, it was a little bit better after uh, I tried again and they were both wet and then our last experiment we're going to use a ceramic palette to paint the gray still has a strong marked line but it does blend better this way I think that I like both ways drawing directly using the pins directly on the paper or taking your brush like this and painting uh, from the ceramic palette but I think I like the watercolor method a little bit more it does work on this so if you are using watercolor paper do it with a paintbrush and you shouldn't have any problems and let's see if we can use the blender in like the way I would use a colorless blender if I had limited colors I would take the tip and dip it in the color I want and then paint with that draw with that and it's lighter so the blender is not a waste because it can be used to make the colors a little lighter so you can use a blender like this you can get different tones and different gradients this way so we're going to make a piece of art using this media paper not the watercolor paper it's trash so I only ended up using one of the emotes fine liners the the wine color one and it does say on the package it's water resistant and I did test it 
I don't have the video showing, but I did test it beforehand and it didn't really bleed or smear. It, it was just like very minor. But so I, since it was minor, I went ahead and just did the line art first. As long as I'm careful with, you know, the water and how much water I use, then it'll look okay. And I really like these fine liners. They're so easy to lay down, but I was so worried about getting my lines right because I'm not the best at doing line art, but I did a varied line weight. And even if my hands are shaking, I can still get a clean line because it is really easy and comfortable to hold. And I love these markers. I will probably buy more. I use these colors. I don't have a lot of like skin tone colors, but the beauty of these is a uh, mixing. So I use the almond color and then the the light blue color because I wanted her to have a little bit of an unnatural look and the darker the darker turquoise or it's not a turquoise but the darker uh, like aqua color was used for the eyes and like a shadow maybe I would if I change it uh, change something I would probably want to make a darker color maybe by mixing the almond with the the copper if I mix the almond and the copper then I can get like maybe a blush but you know I still like the blue blush it gives her a uh, avatar kind of feel in the gray I'm using and I'm using the ceramic palette most of the time but I do also use the brush directly to get stronger, darker strokes in shades. And I use the blender brush that you see here to take the color from the palette because I can get it a little bit darker than the brush by itself, but not as dark as just, you know, the only the only the marker. And this paper was was really holding up for me. And because with the the aqua blue blush area, I used the wrong dark color blue, and I had to like blend it out a little bit more. And that's why I had a lot of bleeding on that side there with the the wine fine liner, because I was trying to bl blend that blue blush. But it it was all okay, even though I had uh, some bleeding areas with the the fine liner it really it looks natural it looks part of the piece and it like flows with the piece so I'm not too worried about that but if you are worried about that you can always use the the fine liner after the color like just like leave your sketch and then color on top of the sketch and then line your work and that's okay too and with uh, these two, I didn't do it this way, but, but I did use the, the blender with the palette, the ceramic palette. But you can actually take the colors tip by tip, touch the tip to, uh, together to mix colors that way as well. So these are very versatile. There are so many ways that you can use them. Just don't use the wrong paper with them. And I love how I did the background. The, the dark aqua color worked perfect for this. And it gives like a watercolor look to it, but like a little bit, kind of like a cauliflowered effect. But in this case, that effect is not uh, unwanted. And I made some dripping effects on the top with the almond color and I am now just, you know, making my final touches. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. This was a fun unboxing. And I don't know when I'm going to get another sketch box. 
but I think I will get the another one if not next month the next month after that thank you for watching this video like subscribe hit the notification bell and see you next time invokers goodbye everyone